Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to solve a problem basing on exponential function. Exponential function is something like e power of something. So, if a given physical quantity or a physics equation has exponential function inside, how to handle that is the point that we are going to discuss now. It is given in the problem that the time dependence of a physical quantity a physical quantity whatever it may be, how it depends on the time is p at any given time equal to p naught probably its maximum value does not matter exponential function of minus alpha t square where alpha is a constant and t is the time and we need to calculate what is the dimensions of this constant alpha that is the problem that we are going to handle and let us see how to solve the problem. To solve this problem we need to remember one basic thing that dimensional formula has a limitation. The limitation is the exponential functions exponential functions would not have any dimensions exponential functions would not have any dimensions. Of course, the same is the same is true even with the trigonometrical functions also. So, whatever the equation that is given for you is something like this p equal to p naught e power minus alpha t square. So, there is an exponential power of minus alpha t square. So, the power the e power minus alpha t square has obviously 0 dimensions. 0 dimensions. So, I can write that implies I can write minus alpha t square has a dimensions of 0 m power 0 l power 0 t power 0 dimensions are nothing but the powers of the fundamental quantities all of them are equal to zeros that implies minus alpha into t square is is nothing but equal to 1 that implies minus alpha is nothing but having a dimensions of 1 by t square. So, minus alpha plus alpha does not make a difference for us that is a sign I am calculating about dimensions dimensions of alpha is simply 1 by t square r t power minus 2. So, all this discussion simply depends on solution depends on only one point that the exponential function in any physics equation cannot be expressed in terms of dimensions therefore, it is having a 0 dimensions taking that into consideration we can simply solve the problem as explained uh, here. So, dimension is nothing but the power of a fundamental physical quantity and the representation of a physical quantity in terms of the powers and fundamental quantities is called as dimensional formula that is a basic observation and thing that we have been teaching in the multiple video lessons of this uh, video. Thank you for stopping by and uh, I you can go through and see there are so many further videos on units and dimensions both in this YouTube channel as well as the uh, 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 Academy.com website right. Thank you. See you back again.